Uh, next thing we did want to go over, obviously it being an election year, did want to talk about that a little bit. Ryan Serhan, who's actually a high-end residential agent um, out of Manhattan, actually put together a pretty good article just going over uh, what to expect for an election year and obviously like, people get a little bit nutty so it's good to bring things back down to earth so wanted to go over the Federal Reserve's role in that article so obviously the Fed's decisions on interest rates are based on economic conditions and not political events like elections the Fed aims to maintain economic stability regardless of whoever's in office and obviously the executive policy impact. So while a president's policies uh, can influence the housing market, these can change time to time as well. Structural issues such as housing, inventory, are obviously long-term changes that can't immediately be fixed through an election. Obviously supply and demand is a huge factor as well. Don't really need to drill into that too much. Uh, and then historical data actually shows that home prices and sales often rise after presidential elections, which is I feel like contrary to popular belief, but this is uh, more so correlation rather than causation. And focusing on the current economic data as well, this is super important in an election year. So understanding the real estate market movements, um, it's essential to focus on economic data and policies rather than sensational headlines related to the election. Yeah, I know from our conversations, there's a lot of fear out there with yeah. everyone that we're talking to, regardless of what side you're on, but the reality is, Things aren't going to change overnight yeah. and likely not to change drastically either way. Exactly. Cool.